Let's build the kingdom of God together. Partner with us and support our projects throughout the Middle East, digging water wells, building orphanages, and conducting revival meetings to reach the lost for Jesus Christ. Visit Celebrate Freedom Ministries and join our Kingdom Builders program today. Celebrate Freedom Ministries have been called by God to raise disciples who will make a difference in the kingdom. Disciples who will preach the gospel, heal the sick, and raise the dead. If you desire to be personally discipled, we invite you to join our partners program and begin to fulfill your God-given calling and purpose. To join the partners program, visit our website, Celebrate Freedom Ministries, and join our partners program today. Mina and Yvonne have been called to bring God's transformative love to this generation. They have been powerfully used by God to preach the gospel to nations with the manifestations of signs, wonders, and glorious healings. You can be a part of what God is doing. Visit Celebrate Freedom Ministries. Are you in need of inner healing? Do you need restoration from painful memories, traumas, and hurt? Do you need healing in your body? Join our school to learn aspects of the biblical principles of healing. Walk with a mentor who will guide and support you throughout your journey. Invest in yourself and be free from pain and trauma. Get ready to receive healing and release it to others. Visit Celebrate Freedom Ministries and register today. Are you in desperate need for God's emotional and physical touch? Do you have a heart for the healing ministry? Revealing the healer covers it all. In her new book, Yvonne talks about fatal experiences which could have ended her life or left her paralyzed if it wasn't for God's healing power. Written by a passionate believer in Christ who experienced divine healing firsthand, Yvonne doesn't hold back from sharing divine keys to releasing God's healing power. Through her book, Revealing the Healer, Yvonne proves to you that healing is your destiny, both to receive and to release to others. Begin to operate with the biblical understanding of sickness and of healing. Understand the full implication of healing in the atonement at the cross. Learn a simple biblical method for walking in divine healing. Discover the secret behind the healing ministry of Jesus. Find out how to overcome common hindrances preventing you from receiving your healing. Receive an impartation to receive your own healing and be used by God. You can get her book by visiting www.celebratefreedomministries.org. Hello, hello, and welcome CFM family all around the globe. We greet you in the name of the risen King, the true light out of true light. Yes, I am meaning to say this from the get-go because you know what? We're unpacking the prophetic word for the month of April and it's obvious if you've been uh, living on this planet for the last couple of weeks, you will, you would have noticed even in the news all around us that there is so much about light and darkness and moon and solar and uh, lunar and and this is what's going to happen and even we things that we're going to be unpacking today because let me tell you it is a bit overdone mm. and it's a bit insane to an extent. Because these phenomena, yes, they don't happen very often, but they've happened before. And similar things have happened before, but the reaction that we're seeing on the body of Christ, the reaction that we're seeing even in the news, in the secular news, is a bit unbelievable. So why is that? Because for someone who's discerning the times and the seasons, you would know if the enemy is up to something, and we declared this from the start of April, that darkness will not overcome, that the light will shine, and darkness will not comprehend. One thing we said, it will not understand how the prophetic community of God, that's you and me, if you're listening to this live and sharing it and spreading the light and the good news and stopping the fee tactics, and uh, you know what, discerning what the enemy is doing. And I'm not going to get into the teaching and the preaching of this prophetic word before. 
we pray because we need to be praying because God gave me personally a revelation about these dark seasons. And he said, you have to get into your inner chamber. And there is, there is another word for another time, but let us just acknowledge all the beautiful people who are here on the live, people from everywhere, free, people from Brisbane, Australia, people from South Africa, people from, yes, Sunshine Coast, Australia, many of the beautiful states of the USA, Michigan, Ohio, all around. We greet you in the name, New Jersey, amen. We greet you in the name of Jesus. And let me tell you, this word is going to bless you. We're going to release a prophetic prayer at the end. So share this stream and let's worship the king amen amen we're so excited and there's so much in this live that we are going to unpack uh, a lot is happening and we're gonna go through events and really look at the prophetic meaning i mean some insane events are taking place mm. and we are not going to ignore them so we're gonna look at a lot of stuff so i want you to stay with us subscribe to the channel um and before i do that and before i open in prayer there's just a couple of very important announcements that I would love to let you know of. Number one is that there is a brand new course, Intimacy yeah. with Christ. This takes you on a journey um, in the book of Solomon, Song of Songs. And it's for those people who are hungry. And I mean it because it will mature you in the Lord. We also released our brand new book. The Supernatural Love of Yeshua that's been forwarded by Sid Roth and endorsed by Steve Schultz. So get your copy. It's going to take you deeper in a new revelation of who Jesus is. So these two have just been released. Last but not least is that we want to just acknowledge those people who are supporters in this ministry. We look after so many different widows and orphans in the Middle East, including helping for their tuition fees, medical bills. So let me just show you a glimpse of what this ministry is doing to acknowledge and say thank you thank to you. everyone who is part of this ministry. So here we go with that. just witness now is the next generation and the beautiful thing is that we've been able to be the answer and if you're hearing this now and you're like Nina Yvonne I want to put my hand in your hand and I want to make a difference, then it's very simple. You go to the website, celebratefreedomministries.org, and when you, or you can scan the barcode on the screen and to say thank you to everyone who's becoming a new monthly donor, we're giving away my, my book, Revealing the Healer, and also a three-part teaching on healing you're going to get that as a gift just to say thank, thank you, you. Yeah. to what you're doing and let me tell you you're changing lives so if you're hearing this and you're like Yvonne I've never been to Egypt but I would love to sow in the land of Egypt this is going to be your chance well I want to open up in prayer and we want to get into what is happening make sure you share this because so thank many people you, are wanting to hear this Holy Spirit we thank you Lord yes Lord Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your glory. Thank you, Lord, because you will speak tonight. And I just ask in Jesus' name, even from the get-go, mm. that we bind every demonic spirit of fear, yes. 
that is being released in the atmosphere to scare your children. And I just release peace over your people right now. Thank you, Lord, because even in the darkest times, you go before us. Yes, you Lord. push back the darkness. Yes. You make a way where there is no, no way. way. Father, I thank you because even if we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, your presence makes all the difference. You, so we release Hallelujah. your presence mm. and we just thank you yes, for Lord. what is coming. And we ask, Holy Spirit, Amen. that you give us ease to hear not what the media is saying, but what the Spirit is Amen. saying to the church. Amen. And all of God's people said, amen. amen and amen and amen. Amen. You know, insane events are taking place. Some have already. Some are about to take place. Some you would have heard of. Some you might be hearing for the first time. Let me tell you that the month of April, as we released, and if you haven't heard the prophetic word for the month of April, I would encourage you because this is how God deals with us. This is how he speaks with us. He gives us a prophetic word. Maybe it's a verse. Maybe it's a phrase. Maybe it's something out of a chapter or half or whatever it is out of the Bible. And then we will chew on it. And then we will eat on it. And then we'll go deeper with it. And then he will reveal more because we say, Lord, we, we are ready for more. We Amen. want more. Amen. We want a new, a more deeper, newer revelation of what you are saying. We're not going to get our news from the media. We're not going to get our news from what the news wants to tell us. But we want to get the news from you, from the throne room of grace, what you are saying, what your heart is beating for your church and for your people. And, and so, you know, the Lord led us to say, and I can see this right through, and we've been discussing this, that it is a setup now for the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. And God gave us a very specific word for the month of April that darkness will not overcome mm -hmm. because the light and those who are sitting in the darkness and those who are fearing the darkness and those who are being terrified because of what's about to happen even in the natural. And it's no coincidence that we're releasing this second or part two of the prophetic word on the fourth of the April 2024. You know, th this is this is another thing because I love numbers and we know that the number four is about the establishing, is about the open doors, it's about the new birth. It, it is about, you know, on the fourth day of creation, God created what? The sun and the moon and the stars. And what are we about to see signs what did we just see a sign of the lunar eclipse about a, two weeks ago and we're about to see the a new sign of a solar eclipse that hasn't happened and let me tell you it is a very important mm. time in yes. heavenlies you know um, we released this prophetic word that we gave to elijah list and they're going to publish and and one of the things that the lord led me to is the, the Islamic world will be celebrating not to the God of Israel. And the Christian world, uh, mostly in fear and darkness and not discerning what the prophetic signs are happening in the heavens. And just past the 8th of April, we're going to be going into the Passover season. But like it was in the days of Moses, let me tell you and declare this even in the heavenlies now, like it was in the days of Aaron and Moses and how they spoke to Pharaoh, mm. the God of that time, the God of that empire, the God who held the chosen people of God. That's you and me, captive, slaves. He said, you know what? You will produce even more without any more straw. Mm. And God had a messenger, Moses, and he said, you go to Pharaoh and you tell him one thing, let my people go so that they will celebrate. God loves us to celebrate him in freedom. And Moses was saying to God, how can you choose me? I'm the wrong person. You are listening to this. 
and God is raising the Moses on the inside of you. You haven't believed in a Moses or an Aaron or a prophet, but you believed in the Messiah who rose from the dead and you've just celebrated his resurrection and he is called the King of Glory. Not just as a title, that is a reality because he sits on his throne he's not worried he's not anxious he's not wondering what his next step is he is the god of action not reaction and he is the one who's about to come and shine with his light because he spoke over you and said you are the light of the world and so i don't know if these words mean anything to you but we're so burdened to share what is happening because the insane events that are about to happen and they have already started but to us it is a setup of another exodus it is a setup of how god is going to come with his marvelous signs and wonders and show who is the real god of israel amen 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 you know as we enter into those events, the Bible says that we need to know Satan's ways so he does not outwit us. That's so right. we need to know what others are saying and what is actually happening. And that's really going to help us. So when we release that word, we decree that this is going to be a month of unusual deliverance where God is really making a distinction. Um, it was during this month that we're going to be celebrating Passover. So it was this month that the Israelites marked the doorposts with the blood of the lamb, signifying the Passover lamb. So that was the time of redemption from slavery. We know that, right? We also know that this solar eclipse is taking place after we just celebrated the resurrection of our Lord. So there's so much that's happening. We also know and we shared that, that between the first solar eclipse that happened in 2017 and the one that's going to happen in 2024, there's going to be a mark of an X. It is the place that is called, get ready, Little Egypt. We said that on the first live, but now it gets insane. And hopefully you're hearing me in the spirit. On April 8th, let me share this with you because that's really going to shock somebody. Mm. NASA is releasing, I want you to hear this, three rockets into the moon's shadow during the solar eclipse of April 8th. And that's because they are saying to the people that it's just to learn more about the effects of the solar eclipse. But get ready. They named the mission APEP. -E and so many people will miss that. Mm. They will not understand what is APEP mission. Why would they name it that? All you need to do is go and research what that me name means. Get ready for that. It, it is the name of an Egyptian serpent it is the Egyptian god. Serpent god yeah. Now, God Egypt. is dealing severely in this eclipse with the gods of Egypt. And I'm not, it, when I say gods of Egypt, it's God with a small g. In other words, these are demonic entities that penetrated the land. And we are about to see another exodus. We're about to see another replay of the plagues. So you're wondering, Yvonne, what is mm. APEP? Okay, here it is. APEP was the ancient Egyptian god of darkness and disorder and destruction. And guess what? This God or this demonic entity was opposing another God mm -hmm. and the, he was opposing the God Ra, R-A, the God of light. Sun, yeah. So, or the sun God. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand why would NASA name choose, choose. or choose mm. this name for their mission what 
is it yeah. that they are trying to accomplish now we're going what is to behind the scenes w- of absolutely the scene. and as god's children we don't want you to freak out because we're gonna show you that when there's a replay of the plagues yeah. and you'll see them playing out the lord when i was in prayer today the lord said get ready in different parts of the world those plagues are all going to be playing at the same time it yeah. was weird it was god showing me even livestock with being plagued in areas but i don't want you to freak out because i'll tell you what's going to happen with god's children yeah and let, and let me tell you the good news because you have it in your bibles the, this is what the lord led me to say and and it's in exodus 7 10. This was the first confrontation. Yes. And so if NASA or the world or the governments or whatever it is, uh, uh, even prophesying over us death, an eight yes. of mission, mission mm-hmm. a serpent mission, you get it. You get what, it, what, what we're trying to unpack here and tell you what's happening behind the scene. And they say they're going to have, listen to this, a clearer visibility <laughs> during the darkness of the solar eclipse. Wow. Does that even make sense? I, I want you to listen to this because this is so profound that they tell us what they're doing, but we're just, we it's, it's either you know it or you don't know. Right. They're telling us what they're up to. They're telling us what the enemy's up to. They're telling us what they're doing behind the scenes mm-hmm. and they're even using the, the same names that we used back in Exodus, back in Pharaoh's days. But listen to this out of the book of Exodus, chapter 7 and verse 10. It says this, So Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and did what the Lord had commanded them. This is what we need to do as a remnant, as God-fearing people, as the light and salt to this world. Mm -hmm. Aaron threw down his staff Mm -hmm. before Pharaoh and his officials. (laughs) before the head and the officials, and it became a serpent. Yeah. Because you know what? Everything in the kingdom of darkness is the counterfeit. Right. And so what are they trying to raise? Mm. A counterfeit serpent. Mm. Then Pharaoh called his own wise men and sorcerers, because mm. they have the counterfeit. And these Egyptian magicians did the same with their staff and did the same magic they thought it was magic they threw down their staffs which also became serpents but get this Mm. i want you to listen intently Mm. but say but but then aaron's staff swallowed up their staffs Mm. there is only one true god there is only one true light there is a counterfeit scare tactic that is happening from the enemy to use what is happening as a sign in the heavenlies for God's people and God's remnant to wake up and say, we have come to a face-to-face challenge, but it's not a challenge that you might lose. It is a challenge, and let me prophesy this over you, that whatever you are facing right now, whatever that mountain looks like, whatever even that valley that you are going through and you're feeling dry as dead bones let me prophesy over you that whatever is in your hand that stuff that you are saying it's useless as you obey the lord and as you take his prophetic word and fight with it and as you hear the words of my voice right now whatever the enemy is coming against you what you have in your hand the truth and the sword of the word will swallow up every counterfeit serpent and it's not an equal challenge because your god say my god has already won and he has done an absolute mockery of the enemy and the old serpent on the mighty cross of calvary amen Amen. I I love that because at the beginning of the confrontation, what we're coming into right now is a confrontation. 
and you want to write this down, the purpose of the confrontation is because God is fighting for your freedom. This is exactly what happened in the book of Exodus. Moses went to Pharaoh and said to him, you need to let my people go. You cannot silence my people any longer. You cannot hinder them any longer. This is what the confrontation was about. At the beginning, Moses was, as Nina was saying, he had a he had the staff in his hand it turned into a serpent mm. but the magicians of egypt were able to try and do that but we know that the moses snake ate up the uh, snake of the magicians but guess what as the plagues intensified the magicians were unable to stand against the God of Israel. And you get to know that because when the gnats were um, released on the earth during that plague, guess what the magicians actually said? You will see this in Exodus 8, 19. Yes. It says that those gnats were, they were like flies. They were like everywhere. The magi magician said to Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. Hallelujah. In other words, we are unable to reproduce even the counterfeit uh -huh. because the glory of God was on display. God is doing it again. And the reason will be not to freak you out because there's good news at the end. Wow. You'll hear it. So this is not a dooms and glooms message, but there's too many coincidences for us to come and say, hey, this is just a coincidence. There's too many things happening. If you've just tuned in now, you want to go back and hear that from the beginning, because we just spoke about what NASA are trying to do with their mission of APEP. I'll put that one more time. The Egyptian God of destruction. Now it gets worse. On the, during the eclipse, there is what they are calling the devil's comet. If you mm. heard this, you want to write it down in the chat. So many people are going to be focused on the eclipse, right? But if they look the other direction, what they will see is a gigantic it is an enormous comet. And guess what? They claim that the size of it will be similar to the size of man Everest. Wow. Could you even imagine the looking highest. at and yeah. and they claim that people will be able to see it with the naked eye. It's going to be that clear and it doesn't look good. The reason why they called it the devil's comet is because it's greenish oh, in yeah. color, because it has horns and because it will omit dust, gases and even ice due to the buildup of pressure that's in it. The last time there was something like that, it happened in 1811 it in other words none of us are ready for this no one saw this before in their lifetime and when it happened guess what three months after its appearance the largest continental earthquake in history happened in the usa it was so strong to the level that it caused the mississippi river to start flowing in the opposite direction yeah. And we already began to see an earthquake happening. An earthquake just happened in Taiwan. So we already are in the midst of all of that. Mm. There's so much happening for us to stand back and think, I just don't think that this is all, um, that this is a coincidence. It is not a coincidence. This is insane event. God is raising up his finger. And I remember the Lord just reminded me now of Matthew 12 when you know jesus spoke about deliverance and he was talking about that no one will enter the house of a strong man except someone who is stronger, stronger yeah the strong man is those demonic entities that penetrated our land our government mm -hmm. our education system our music system and they have those thrones seated up there we're coming into this confrontation where if there's a stronger man you're about to see the stronger uh -huh. coming 
to throw out this, that strong man or that demonic entity, whatever its name is. We seem to think, Yvonne, are you talking about Egyptian mythology? No, 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 no. Those demonic entities re-enter every time in history and they give themselves different names. Well, they're spirits. They haven't yes. left our planet. Yes. They've gone nowhere and they just re-manifest according to the seasons and the times and the philosophy of this age. This is the wisdom of this age. And so this is why in the book of Exodus again, and, and we're seeing this, yes. it, it's, it, it, it's, it, it is, it, it's actually an insane replay. <laughs> you think our oh, poor Israelites, they were in bondage for 400 plus years in the land of Egypt and they were slave to Pharaoh. Guess what? I don't know where you're living. If you're living in America, Canada, Australia, where, wherever, it is getting up to 400 years here in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. And 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 the and the enemy of this world has enslaved many many people. If it was slavery before mm -hmm. and so-called liberation of freedom, but let me tell you, modern slavery is taking and its fee tactics mm -hmm. and its darkness and its evil. And it's it's missions like what NASA is, is proclaiming here with the with the same name of the ancient gods. Right. You know the the Egyptians believed that Apep was in in continuous daily fight yes. with the sun Ra, the yeah. sun of the sun, the mm -hmm. sun, the the god of, of the light. sun, the yeah. god of light. Yeah. And they fought all night, <laughs> and then the sun Ra overcame him every single morning and that's mm. why the sun came out mm. isn't this so prophetic for you as a new testament believer mm. that the every time you wake up you are the light and that death and darkness cannot overtake you cannot overcome you because you carry the true light because he is the only true light. But let me tell you what the Lord spoke to us out of Exodus 6. And he said this, go. And he was speaking to Moses. And he's speaking to his prof prophets now Amen. and his prophetic community now. Mm -hmm. And he's speaking to you right now. Mm -hmm. Don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get this in your spirit. You will need it very shortly. This is coming around the corner. Mm -hmm. This is in a few days. We're not talking about things hoped for next you know, next decade or next five years or where you want to be in the next five years. We're telling you where you have to be in the next five days yes. because it is the fourth of the fourth 44. Because if you add 20 and 24, it's 44 again. <laughs> this is quadruple fours. This is not, this is times and seasons in the heavenlies. This is when you put four and four and four and four, this is foundational because Upon four mm. seasons, God created the whole calendar. Mm. It is because of summer and 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 winter and 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 the fall or autumn and and spring mm. that we get to know the seasons. There is something there prophetically. Mm. You have to get. He said to them in verse six. So this is six and six. He goes. Therefore, say to the people of Israel, mm. that's you. If you are in covenant with God Himself. You belong. And he says, I am the Lord. Someone needed to hear this. He says, I am the Lord. I will free you from your oppression and I will rescue you Amen. from slavery in. Mm. Doesn't Egypt is only mm. a metaphor here mm. of whatever is holding you back. But in the month of April, Amen. I prophesy yes, over Lord. you right now that the Lord who has spoken mm. to Moses and said to him, go to Pharaoh and tell him that go and say to them, mm. I will set you free. I will conquer your oppressors mm. for I am the God who I am. Mm. And when I speak, Things happen, mm -hmm. and things are happening in the heavenlies. Yes. You have to get hold of this. You're not hearing this by coincidence. Mm -hmm. It is such, mm -hmm. and even we said it's it's portal times. You know, like people are saying, mm -hmm. it's doing that cross of a little Egypt, Carbondale, Southern Illinois, 
And we said even in a prophetic word last week that it is that particular town that had the grain in the midst of the famine that the state of Illinois in the 1800s were going through. Yes. The land of Goshen had more than enough that the darkness of the eclipse that happened in the same timing. You know that? There's some studies that are saying that. Mm. That this is starting mm. on the first to the second of Nisan on the Hebraic month. And that is, if if you do the calculation, about the same time that Egypt was in total darkness for three days. Is that coincidence or is these signs in the heavenlies and timings and seasons that we need to understand and we need to comprehend because the moon and the sun and the stars were given for the times and the seasons as a sign in the heavenlies for God's people and they ruled. It says this in Genesis 1, 12 to 14. And God created them on the fourth day, on the 4th of April, 44. I'm telling you, there's something about to unravel here. But you need to have your antennas on. You need to have your prophetic antennas on so that you can get this and be able to pray against it so that darkness will never, let me tell you, amen. overcome you. Amen, amen, amen. I know that many are encouraged because all today, all yesterday, we've been talking about four, 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 four the of four the four fours. of the 24th, even when you add four and then four again. So 4th of April, then 20. 24 there's two twos that's four and then there's another four <laughs> so it's like in the middle of chaos in the middle of darkness in the middle of where people are freaking out in the middle where you know the government saying make sure you have enough food some schools are gonna be cancelled there's something that they know that they're not telling us but in the midst of all that you are coming into your goshen i'm gonna tell uh, you yes. one more thing and then we're gonna get into goshen because it's gonna be amazing it's almost like when i was in prayer today the lord said to me my people are going to to experience the exodus again but not mm. in a historical sense that's good it's not gonna be a story that they read about that happened in egypt thousands of years ago it's gonna be something that they will really because they will know that i am the god of the land i will execute judgment yes, over the all the gods of egypt and let me tell you egypt had hundreds of gods they had gods for everything they had a fertility god they had a god for wealth they had a god for the rain they had they had a god for everything mm -hmm. but we have the lord who is coming to execute judgment <sighs> and you will be able to see Thank the you. confrontation it will be like my goodness lord your hand is so tangible right so i want you to also note this because you want to be a alert there's going to be two different breeds as if we didn't need any problems of hopefully i can say this correctly cicadas so i've been practicing oh sorry okay so this cicadas. is nina's pronouncing it cicadas. better basically I have to learn it too. yeah worry. they're like types of flies or insects let me actually show you what they look like they look horrible <laughs> but that's what they look like right there's billions of them that are cicadas. going to be covering 17 states but guess what it gets worse they are following the same path of the eclipse which is just crazy they're happening after the eclipse but the last time okay no one ever saw them before they're coming out of the ground and the last time they came out of the ground guess what was in 18 oh three oh is that right okay almost 200 plus years ago no one I thought we saw had some them. like four years ago or something so no these particular ones are different so as i was in prayer this is what the lord said to me i want you to go and read the plagues again because yvonne you're gonna see them so i want to read to you exodus 8 20. it says then the lord said to moses get up in the morning yeah and confront Pharaoh. Someone needs to write this down. We're coming into a divine confrontation. Yeah. The Lord is going to You're going confront. You're going to get up early in the morning. Exactly. And then he says this. I want you to go and tell him, the 
this is what the Lord says. Now, the Lord is doing all these things, not because he wants just a, a display of glory. No, let my people go. So the purpose uh -huh. of the confrontation is for your freedom. It is to free you from anything right. that is coming to bog you down or to take away your freedom. I love it even later on in the New Testament when people came into the church and they were telling believers, you've got to be circumcised. The apostle Paul rose up and said, these people are coming to spy on our freedom. It is the same replay again, where people come, whether in the area of the church, whether in the area of the government to do what? To do the very same thing they always did, to steal and take away your freedom. That is why we love the name of the ministry. Celebrate freedom. Mm -hmm. It comes out of Galatians 5. It is for freedom Hallelujah. that Christ yes. came. Stand firm in the freedom. And today, all day, as, I'm pre as we're preparing, I hear the Holy Spirit say, tell my people to stand firm in your freedom. It is for freedom that I came. Colossians says he canceled the charges against you because he wants Thank you free. You and so it says, let my people go. I'm going to send swarms of flies on you and on all your officials and your people into the houses. Now hear this. The houses of the Egyptians will be full of flies. Even the ground will be covered with them. But on the day, get ready, I will deal differently with the land of Goshen. Mm. And everyone's like, why Goshen? Why didn't you choose the land of Ramses? Why didn't you choose the land of Giza? Why that area? And he says, where my people live. live I want you to write this down. And I will, I will deal and I will make a distinction hallelujah. between my people <laughs> and your people. That's and you. then he said, so that it's like, God, why are you doing that? Mm. Like, why are you flexing your muscles? Yeah. He said, so that you will know that I, the Lord, am in this land. Mm. Everything we're coming into, everything you're about to see is for one purpose. It is for the world to know that I, the Lord, am in this land. That this is the message of the kingdom. That the king of heaven still rules. The same Lord who came and cut down the tree that was Nebuchadnezzar and delivered his people from Babylon is doing it again. This is going to be not just a deliverance from Egypt, yeah. but a deliverance from the gods of Babylon. It is another, I want you to say this, replay. And you're about to watch a movie. Yeah, and we're heading into Passover. Yes. And that's the, the ultimate, that's the plague number 10. But you see, for every plague, for every counterfeit scare tactic, there is the truth. When you say, oh, but the cicadas are going to come out because of the total darkness that we're going to experience. Let me tell you that God is speaking to some and saying, like the cicadas, stay, stay dormant for so long. Yes. Then comes the time and God will use the darkness to bring the light that is in you out in the midst of the darkness. And let me tell you and prophesy over you and that the darkness shall never overcome you because as the cicadas mm. even come out, yes. out of the dark soil, out of the dormant places that you are about to experience, the resurrection that you have celebrated about 10 days ago, that the resurrection life of Jesus will flow and the spirit will take you up like the cicada that, that's coming and people are worrying. Yes, but God says it is a new birthing. It is a new resurrection and I will spring you out of your tomb Amen. because there is no stone over the tomb of your soul, of your emotions, of your will. And I'm speaking to some people I see in my spirit right now that you're feeling it is done. It is more than four days. It is finished. I'm not even a Lazarus Mina. I've been dormant. I've been dead. But let me tell you, you are hearing this word. 
for resurrection, for new beginning, for light in the midst of darkness. And as it gets even darker, God, your God, will stand and say, I will make a clear, and I want you to highlight the word clear in capital. God says clear distinction between my people and my covenantial keeping people, covenant keeping people, Mm. and the world and the enemy and APEP and all of the scare tactics that the enemy is using over you and through the media to feed you darkness and to feed you fear because that's a spirit. Mm. That's a spirit. Darkness is the lack Mm. of the presence of light. Yes, Lord. But you are here for a reason and a destiny. Mm. Let me tell you, if you feel like Mm. you're in a dead, dormant, dark tomb and the stone is sealed over you, let me prophesy over you that on the 4th of the 4th, 44, that's a 4444, that the God who came on the 4th day Mm. to to raise a Lazarus who was dead and yet he loved him, And he cried out and says, come out. And he is speaking over your dead situation and Mm. saying that on this opportune time, that this divine appointed time, he is calling your Lazarus, Mm. come Mm. out. Your destiny to be birthed, your ministry to flourish, Mm. your, I don't know what it is, relationships, your health and your mental wellness as well i see this in my spirit right Mm -hmm. now Mm -hmm. that right now god is freeing you from the slavery of egypt and the bondage of this world he's calling you into his freedom he's saying stand firm in the freedom that i have paid the price for you yes amen wow i I feel the presence of god so heavy here and and mina as you were speaking about freedom I felt the Holy Spirit say, I want you to release freedom over my people, freedom from debts, freedom Uh, from diseases, freedom from conditions, freedom. I I, I just love, I think it's um, Luke 440, where it says that everyone who touched Jesus was healed, freedom from sickness and disease. You're not just going to hear about freedom you will experience it you will feel it you will smell it i love that because as it gets darker guess what after those um flies comes the plague of darkness i want to read this to you when it came it says that the darkness over egypt was so thick so moses stretched out his hand to the sky and all of Egypt was covered in darkness. It says it was so thick that no one can see the other person for three days. Hear this, yet all the Israelites had light. Lord, how? How is it? The the Lord, God has a way of blessing you in the middle, when in the midst of so many others that struggle. God has a way of shedding his light on you when darkness is covering the whole earth. This is just the hand of the Lord. And then I want you to hear what happened because the culmination will be in the Passover. Then Mm. then he said to him, then, then Pharaoh said to Moses, okay, go worship the Lord, right? Even your woman and children, just leave behind Mm. your livestock. At the beginning, he said to him, Pharaoh said to him, let the men go, but keep the woman and the livestock and the children. As the plagues intensified, remember, the confrontation is for freedom. Then he backs up a little bit and he says, okay, take the men, take the woman, but leave the children and the livestock. As it it got intensified more, he said, okay, take the men, take the woman, take the children, but leave the animals. Let me tell you, one of my favorite verses is actually mentioned in Exodus Exodus 10, 25. Moses said to him, all our livestock must go with us, not a hoof. 
will be left in the land because we need to sacrifice to the Lord our God. And when you look up hoof, it means not even one nail will be left in the land of Egypt. What you're coming into is a deep confrontation because the Lord is fighting for you. And this is going to be the time, not for you to freak out, but for you to stand and tell the enemy, guess what? Not one hoof yes. will be left. I am taking everything that you took away from me. My health, my sanity, my well-being, my freedom. Because what's happening is a confrontation. It is a replay. It is a display of the glory of God. And let me tell you, as God's people, you're coming into your Passover. Uh Because this intensifies as it comes. It was on that night that the Lord delivered them for good after they were in Egypt for 400 years. And it was on that night that the Lord said, and on that night, I shall pass through the land of Egypt and I will execute judgment on all the land of Egypt. But when I see the blood. So many people are not speaking about the blood of Jesus anymore, which is so sad that this is for those people who say, I plead the blood of Jesus, that this destroying angel will see the blood and will pass over. It is on that night that they saw and found favor in the eyes of the Egyptian. They say that this was the night they plundered Egypt. Egypt never recovered until today from what happened on that night. The Lord is getting you to plunder the enemy. You're coming into a time where you will take back what the enemy took from you, your reputation, your finances, your dreams, everything that was stolen will be multiplied to you. So we're coming into revival, glory. You're coming into the best times of your life amen amen you know what i'm reminded of that i think it's in the gospel of luke chapter four and four and i'm saying this because it, it is around our offering time yes. right now to come and say you know yes. lord i'm not going to be a hero of the word and not a doer i believe in the prophetic word and i'm fighting for my freedom and i receive it by faith and i'm going to mark my seed where the 4444 4, is the four fours. There's some people that they say three fours, the Trinity. The four fours, the establishment, the completion of all season. The five fours of the grace of God. I don't know what it is, but it must mean something to you for it to mean something to God. Yes. We come to God and honor Him and honor Him with our finances and honor Him with what He has entrusted us with and i encourage you to do that and say lord i'm coming into a full face-to-face confrontation with whomever the enemy has stolen my health my finances my wealth my happiness i don't know what it is my joy my time my children my ministry and i am sowing a prophetic seed for my freedom on the fourth of the fourth 44 20 plus 24 is 44 and the month and the day is 44 as well that might mean something i always love to mark my offerings to the lord and say this is for the passover this is for the unleavened bread this is for the booth this is for the first of the month this is for the tithe and offerings this is for just an honorary offering to god and we We have seen his faithfulness even when it gets so dark that people say, how can you even believe to do that? Let me pray right now. As you align yourself, as you scan the barcode, as you do what you need to do, and you say, I'm marking myself because this is the verse that I'm reminded of. I think it's in Luke 4, 4, 4, when Jesus was tempted by Satan. He replied back, because it's not by bread alone. It's not by what you uh, get from you, whatever work you do with your hand. But it's by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. 
and God speaks through his people and he's speaking over you right now as you saw. And God is saying, I am the God of covenant. I will show my mighty hand over Pharaoh. That is your enemy and the rulers and the demonic powers of this world. For I have come, the Lord says, I have come to set the captives free. As Jesus declared it in the temple, so it shall come over your life now. And he is the one speaking over you and saying, let me show my mighty hand in the face of Pharaoh and the demonic oppression over your life. For I shall heal you, I shall set you free, and I shall restore all what has been stolen from you. So I want you to pray this through. I want you to align yourself to sow into this word and see God come through. But we have a prophetic prayer, if yep. you want to release, yep. before we let you go. Yes, amen, amen. Let me read a part of the April word for those of you who missed it. But this is what I heard the Lord say. April will be marked by signs in the heavens birthing a new season of deliverance yes. and redemption. It is a very special appointed time Thank you, and God. carries a special appointed message. Yes, it will be a month of notable signs, not only on earth, but even in the heavens. I heard the Lord say the bells of heaven will be ringing, Hallelujah. announcing a time of great deliverance for my people. Although darkness will cover many places and many will be shaken, yet you will see light. Mm. You will feel Hallelujah. light. Yes, this Lord, is release. your time to cross over yes. and inherit your, your promises. For the Lord of hosts himself goes before, before you. you. Yes, I indeed have seen your oppression and distress. I heard your cry and I am well aware of your suffering. You're entering into a time of freedom for your coming to see a confrontation, a confrontation where I will be king. Therefore, get ready, get ready. for your time of deliverance yes, has come. While many will see darkness, you will see light and you will hear my voice. Let there be light over my people in Goshen. Hallelujah. While many fear, Thanks. be in turmoil, you will understand that no plague will touch you because you have engaged in covenant in a covenant of peace and protection you will see a different display of glory mm. a different canvas of light the resurrection and revival of my people is at hand April will be a month of vigorous birth hallelujah and a clear yes. distinction yes, will Father. be made between my covenant people and my enemies. It will not be a month of birthing. It will be a month of supernatural Natural strength. strength. Not only to give birth, but to protect what you are about to birth. And the enemy will not be able to steal or kill or destroy what you are birthing. Yes, For what you are birthing, is not the result of human effect, mm. but rather the fulfillment of my divine promises. Hallelujah. For the work of the flesh will perish, but what is birthed by my spirit will flourish. And I just hear the Lord saying, pray I am praying. Yeah. Yes, I'm releasing a fresh 
breath of my spirit. Father, in Jesus' yes, name. Irabasondo kripa sotu laraba yeshia. Liria stu krepa yendetria. Father, I just thank you. I hear this word acceleration, acceleration, and I hear this word confrontation, face-to-face -face confrontation. Yeah, yeah. Father, I just thank you because the time where you are dealing with every demonic entity, even demonic entities of abuse, the demonic entities of addiction, demonic entities of theft, that you are dealing with those demonic entities. Father, I thank you, thank you for this is a time and an appointed time where you will bind and throw those enemies. Thank you, yes, because Lord, it is a crossover in a land of promise. Yes. It is a crossover where your people will be able to live in freedom. Yes exercise their freedom and receive you as the king. I thank you for this is the time where the kingdom is coming, where you are ruling God. I just give you all the glory and all the praise and I just thank you. I hear the Lord say this to me. Even at the sound of my voice, you are being delivered from fear. Hallelujah. Yes, Father, Lord. in cast Jesus' spirit, name, yeah. I cast out every yes. demonic yes, spirit Lord. of fear yeah. that is paralyzing yes. your children. Mm. Get out in Jesus' mighty name. That there's an army rising up. That there's an mm. army fighting the fights of the Lord. Thank you because they're being delivered from depression, mm -hmm. oppression, anything that is limiting you, marginalizing you. Father, in Jesus' name, we speak freedom yes, Lord. right now. Yes, and Lord. we just thank you for what you are doing. And all of God's people said, amen, amen. and amen, and amen. We bless you. Bless you, guys. In Jesus' name. We want, we were unable to have discipleship on Wednesday in case you um, you came on the Zoom and there was no one, but we did send an email. Next week, the discipleship class is on. So join us next week at 8 p.m. We love you. We bless you. Have a blessed yes. night. Bye-bye. Bye. Celebrate Freedom Ministries have been called by God to raise disciples who will make a difference in the kingdom. Disciples who will preach the gospel, heal the sick, and raise the dead. If you desire to be personally discipled, we invite you to join our partners program and begin to fulfill your God-given calling and purpose. To join the partners program, visit our website, Celebrate Freedom Ministries, and join our partners program today. Mina and Yvonne have been called to bring God's transformative love to this generation. They have been powerfully used by God to preach the gospel to nations with the manifestations of signs, wonders, and glorious healings. You can be a part of what God is doing. Visit Celebrate Freedom Ministries.